This is a story only News Nation has covered since the beginning. UFOs and what the government actually knows about them. If you remember, let's press the rewind button here. It all started last summer when News Nation special correspondent Ross Coulthard interviewed whistleblower David Grush, who claimed there's a U.S. military program designed to recover UFOs. And it was our exclusive reporting that sparked a congressional hearing and created brand new legislation mandating transparency on what the government knows about UFOs. So the question now is, why wasn't News Nation invited to this week's UFO Pentagon hearing? Here with the exact same question himself as News Nation special correspondent and investigative journalist Ross Coulthard. Uh, Ross, it's good to have you this morning. I know you're upset by this. A small handful of reporters were chosen. You were not one of them. And your exclusive was the catalyst for everything. Make it make sense. Look, there's a crucially important report coming up before the uh, Congress, Marky, and it's coming from the Pentagon's UFO Investigation Office. And it's not just us at News Nation. It's a lot of the news media have been excluded from a very select invite-only meeting where certain journalists are being invited to get an embargoed copy of that report so that they can write their stories before the rest of us. And I think this is reprehensible. I think the Pentagon is playing playing favourites, what they're trying to do is control the narrative. They're trying to make sure that you, the public, don't get to hear the full story because I can guarantee to you there are questions that we would be asking at News Nation and indeed other news media not invited would be asking that aren't going to be asked because unfortunately the kind of media who are being invited are the fairly tame compliant national security reporters from the major networks who frankly know that if they ask hard questions they don't get invited back wow I, it's yeah it's so disappointing and i also have to add that news nation reached out to the department of defense requesting admittance on behalf of news nation we were still denied uh Please. they said quote we're looking to keep any media engagement with aero or aaro's acting director to a small group but ross you know if their wish was to suppress interest I, if, if that was their wish cherry picking a few reporters only caused more buzz Look, this is just such a ham-fisted action by the Pentagon, Marky. It's ridiculous because all it's doing is further intensifying public suspicion that the Pentagon, the Department of Defence, the intelligence community have something to hide. And frankly, I know they do. What we know now is incredible, and I'm looking forward to the whistleblowers coming forward eventually and revealing what they know. All the Pentagon is doing is trying to delay the inevitable. Yeah, well, we know that you'll figure it out eventually. Were you able to find out what was discussed during the UFO hearing? No, it's embargoed. We haven't been able to speak to any of the journalists yet who attended, but some of us very some of them very kindly told us that this meeting was happening. Otherwise, we wouldn't have known about it. That's the incredible thing about this is that they tried to keep it all very secret. Well, Ross Coulthard, uh, I'm so sorry that happened this week, not only for you, but for the whole network, because we started we started it all thanks to you. Um, it's good to see you. Thanks for hopping on. Thanks, Marky. Cheers. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.